Does anybody have any questions for Nakima or David that they, they have about uh, City Council? Yes, that is. Nakima, it is for you. Oh, um, no, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know it was that loud. Nakima, either one of you guys, really, how do we go from a, a, the current police state to something more like what the SNCC developed, which is more of like uh, policing ourselves? Come on. Well, I think we have to, of course, get the resources to organize. We already saw glimpses of that when our community was under attack during the uprising. We had white supremacists coming in, shooting at people, trying to burn down our buildings. And we had um, Leslie and the NAACP, Eli Darius, all of them organized and put some freedom fighters in place yep. who were standing guard, many of them armed, on the streets and in front of buildings. So I believe that it takes the resources to develop that infrastructure so that we don't put a worse situation in place. Because you really have to be self-disciplined to be having a firearm, walking around the community, yeah. given the le levels yeah. of complexity with the conflict that goes on. We know we have gangs as well in our communities. Yeah. These are real things. But I'd like to see some of those brothers yep. put down their disputes yep. right. and Come become on. street soldiers yeah. on behalf of the community. Right? It's going to take time, it's going to take energy, but it's worth it. But you can't just say, I'm going to do this, and you don't have a plan. You're yeah. leaving the community vulnerable. Right? That's what I, I live in North Minneapolis. When I look at all the shootings that have happened since they went to Powderhorn Park, it's scary. Your child walking down the street, you don't know, honestly, if, if a bullet's going to be whizzing by because of the chaos they created. And I do believe part of that chaos could also be the police with their informants, with whoever they can, because it is completely unusual, right? We got white supremacists coming in, stirring up violence. We got police with their informants, and who knows how many layers of people they're able to activate and put to work. We know the government infiltrates. There's probably some government people out here hiding right now amongst the crowd, acting like some damn protesters, but they work for the government. And then you got real life community disputes people acting out their trauma. So we have to deal with all of that and we also need a plan for economic justice. Because how are we gonna tell brothers, put down your gun, stop slinging, but they have no job and no way to feed their families. We're setting them up for disaster. And liberals are always talking about, we tired of some goddamn social services. We want businesses, we want jobs, we want opportunity for our community. But you don't hear them talking about that. How are you going to deal with the police and not have economic justice so you can cut down crime? How do we, how do we allocate those resources? One second, one second, Lavish. How do we allocate those resources to actually be able to create it? How do we compile enough money so that we can build that infrastructure? Well, there, there's clearly money there. I mean, if the, um, if the organization that's tr bailed out a few people got $35 million, there's obviously money in this community. If, if some of these other organizations that crept up on the scene got $20 million, there is money out there, right? The police budget is $193 million. We need people from our community to be looking at that budget and figuring out where can we cut the cost and put the money into our community. We also need to replace these people on the city council and have y'all who care about justice run for these seats so you can make the decision. That's what it's going to take for real. And I think the Kima brings up a great point. There, there is a particular group in town that raised over $20 million for themselves. Over $20 million for themselves. And I spoke about this last time. And the question is, is how, what is the work going to be going forward? $20 million could buy you a block. It could buy you a block. And, and there was a lot of money spent on divvying up the, the encampments on Powderhorn. Those, those bulldozers cost money. Those police officers cost money. So the money's going in the wrong direction to speak to the average person. But then secondly, there, there is a particular group that got over $20 million that could actually do work for that. There is a means, if we were able to, if we were able to focus our finances to a group that we were all a part of and held accountable, then that, that could possibly happen. Right now, you have a group that is on watch right now. They are on watch. They are on the clock. And we are all going to be watching them. Uh, and I'm not going to put their name on blast. I'm not going to amplify them. But the idea is that they are on they are on, on watch right now. They're on the clock. And they're going to have to do something with $20 million. That's a lot of money.